For our next example, let's tackle the overhanging beam problem doon sa double integration na video natin. Now, itong simply supported beams are medyo mahirap isolve kasi iba na to sa beams with fixed supports na alam nating zero yung slope at the fixed end. Dito, we have to apply talaga ratio and proportion para makuha natin yung deflection and slope. First, let's draw the moment diagram by parts. Yung ideal na moment center natin para dito is point A or B. Kasi continuous yung distributed load natin within span AB. However, because yung isa sa questions natin asks for the location of the maximum deflection, which is essentially located between span AB, kasi masyadong maliit yung load sa free end compared sa distributed load na resultant, it's ideal to pick B. Yung advice ko dito is kung merong location of the maximum deflection na tanong, always construct your moment diagram by parts toward the right. Kasi mahirap isolve yung distance kung towards the left yung moment center. Ipapakita ko na lang yung figure so that you can visualize kung bakit hihirap yung solution. Let's say ginamit mo yung A as your moment center. Ito yung magiging itsura ng moment diagram by parts mo. As you can notice, if you make a cut, the resulting shape will be difficult. Let's say you will cut dito. It's difficult to make an equation in terms of x kung ganito yung figure mo. And so mas madali kung towards the right yung moment diagram by parts natin kasi mayroon din akong ibibigay na shortcut para dyan. So now let's project a line from B and then let's draw our moment diagram by parts. Let's start dito. This will increase toward the moment center. And yung value nito is 135 times 6 which is 810. And then let's make it a habit to put over EI. And then let's consider this distributed load. This will cause a counterclockwise moment about B. So it will be negative. And then this will be 2 degrees. And then yung value nito is 50 times 6, which is yung resultant, multiplied by the moment arm na half ng 6, which is 3 meters. And so this will be 900 over EI. And then hindi na to masasali because this is located sa moment center mo. We will only include itong 45kn. And that will cause a clockwise moment about point B. And since nasa right yan ng moment center mo, our convention will change. So yung clockwise moment magiging negative. So your moment value will increase toward dito. And then this will be 45 times 2, which is 90 over EI. Now yung first problem natin is to find the deflection at the free end which is nandito. Yung mahirap dito is ang pagpili ng point where you will draw a tangent line. But to save you the time, I'll just tell you what point to consider when solving for deflections at the overhanging portion, which is itong 2 meters. It's ideal to pick your first point at the support near the overhang, which is itong roller support. Now that's because if you draw a tangent line dyan, we can easily relate triangles to get what we are looking for. Sir, bakit sa support magandang pumili ng point? If you think of it conceptually, Para lang yung boundary conditions natin sa double integration. Our supports establish the boundary conditions. In the same way, mas dadali yung solutions natin sa moment area method if we take advantage of the supports. Because alam natin zero yung deflection dyan. Again, let's recall na yung deviation is yung distance between the two tangent lines na pinili mo. So ito yung first point na pipiliin ko. And then I will draw a tangent line dyan. Magiging ganyan. And then because yung problem is to find the deflection at the free end, my second point will be dito. And then I'll also draw a tangent line dyan. Now let's just extend this line dito. Again, yung deviation is from the elastic curve patungo sa tangent line mo. So itong distance na to, dito, patungo dito, that will be the deviation from A with respect to the tangent at B. So this will be the deviation of A with respect to the tangent at B. Kasi ito yung tangent at B. And then this distance from the tangent at B patungo dito sa point C, this will be the deviation from C with respect to the tangent at B. Again, deviation of C, which is ito, with respect to the tangent at B. Let's just label this tangent at B. And then what we are looking for is itong distance na to. Ito kasi yung deflection at the free end. And so let's consider this triangle. Let's just redraw this dito. Now this will be TAB. And then this will be TCB. And this will be YC. Again, we are considering this triangle and this triangle. Kinumbay na lang natin dito. And then this distance is 6 meters. And then ito is 2 meters. 
Now, itong dalawang triangles have the same slope. Yan. And so, pwede natin silang i-relate. TAB is to 6 meters equals TCB plus YC is to 2 meters. So, ito na yung equation natin. And we will need to find TAB saka TCB using our theorems. So, first, let's try to compute for TAB. Now, since this is AB, we will only consider this area from A to B. And then, sir, saan tayo magmo-moment? Magmo-moment tayo dito sa A. Kasi ito yung first letter natin. So, let's first draw the centroids of our figure. So, yung centroid dito is one-third ng 6. And then, ito, since second degree na to, it will be one-fourth of 6. Again, this is 6 because 6 meters to. And then, ito is 2 meters. So, yung centroid dito will be one-third ng 2 meters. And so, let's get TAB. Again, dito tayo magmo-moment sa A. Para makuha natin to. And so, let's first consider this triangle. Yung area nyan is 1 half times base na 6 meters times height na 810 over EI multiplied by the moment arm towards A, which is this distance. Now, that's equal to 6 meters minus itong 1 third ng 6. So, 6 minus 1 third of 6. And then, we will also need to consider this area. So, since second degree na yan, yung area natin will be, again, minus because this is below the zero line. And then, yung area will be one-third times base na 6 times height na 900 over EI multiplied by the moment arm, which is this distance, which is 6 minus one-fourth ng 6. And then, sir, how about ito? Isasali ba natin to? Hindi na. Kasi, we are looking for the deviation from A with respect to the tangent at B. So, we will only need to consider the figure under these two points. Ito kasi yung A natin. And then, ito yung B. So, ito lang yung consider natin na areas. And so, yung TAB natin magiging 1620 over EI. And let's not forget na meron tong KNM cube. Kasi we are talking about deviation. Again, just recall na this is in KNM. And then, multiply by M multiply by another m, magiging knm cubed. So, ito na yung TAB natin. So, magiging ganito. And so, next, let's get TCB. Now, dito tayo magmo-moment sa first letter, which is C. And then, we will only consider the area between these two points. So, since CB, ito lang yung i-consider natin. Kasi ito yung point B natin. And then, ito yung point C. And so, ito na yung TCB natin. We will only consider this area. So, yung area ng triangle na yan is 1 half times base na 2 meters times height na 90 over EI multiplied by the moment arm patungo dito sa C. So, towards dito. And then, yung distance na yan is ito. Which is 2 meters minus 1 third ng 2. So, magiging ganito. Now, you may use the other formula for this distance which is 2 third ng 2. However, ginawa ko lang to so that you will only need to memorize this formula. B over N plus 2. And so, yung TCB natin will be 120 KNM cubed over EI. And so, this will be 120 KNM cubed over EI plus YC over 2 meters. And so, let's just use our calculators to solve for YC. Again, this is X because ito yung ano natin. So, yung YC natin will be 420 KNM cubed over EI. So, ito na yung sagot natin for letter A. Which is the same sa nakuha natin sa double integration. Ito, 420.